A twisted Newcastle grooming gang recruiter was reportedly pregnant twice before she left school and her own dad has fathered 17 children by four women, including two who are mother and daughter. Carol Ann Gallen, who lured vulnerable girls from the streets to be drugged and raped by men, is even called bitch number two on Facebook by her own mother, it's reported. Carol Ann Gallen was just 17 when she joined the evil Newcastle grooming gang Carol Ann Gallen was the only woman among a gang of 18 convicted of abusing white youngsters child rapists paid £10,000 to spy on underage sex parties by Northumbria police as 18 people are convicted of charges including rape, supplying drugs and inciting prostitution the 22-year-old was the only female member and only white person in the child sex ring that was exposed after a mammoth investigation involving 450 suspects and hundreds of young victims. Lesbian Gallen was just 17 when she joined the gang and her role was to befriend young girls before hosting late-night parties where groups of Asian men would prey on them. She refers to herself as Chucky on Facebook while her own mother, who has not been named, refers to her as bitch number two, according to the Daily Mail. She is the second of her mum's six children, while double amputee dad Jimmy Gallen has 17 children by four different women, the newspaper reports two of which are reportedly mother and daughter with whom he had simultaneous relationships and the mother had two of his children while the daughter had three. Gallen lived in a string of different addresses and towns across Northumberland before her unemployed parents, who were together for 20 years, divorced around five years ago. Left to right and top to bottom Abdul Sabeh, Habiba Rahim, Badrul Hussein, Tahe Rul Alam, Hassan Ali, Nadim Aslam, Asa Musavi, Prabhat Nelly, Mohiba Rahman Left to right and top to bottom Abdul Hamid Minoye, Jahangir Zaman, Monjour Chowdhury, Mohammad Azram, Yasser Hussein, Saiful Islam, Nashir Uddin, Red Winsard K, Carol Ann Gallen Northumbria Police defend use of convicted rapist as informant in Newcastle sexual exploitation case Her mother remarried and is understood to have moved to Crudders Park, Newcastle, while Mr. Gallen lives on the sixth floor of a tower block in the West End. The 63-year-old, who lost both of his legs due to chronic diabetes, has defended his daughter's actions and said she is good to her old man. Mr. Gallen told the male she was too young to know what she was getting into and said he informed police after hearing about the sex parties. Husband shoots his wife and her lover dead in their family home after catching the pair having sex couple who wanted to evict tenant forced to let him pay cheap rent forever because of obscure 1920s law mum, daughter and pal accused of being UK's first all-female terror group in court accused of plotting knife rampage cops fine 20 bottles of steroids and white powder at home of bodybuilder champ Rich Piana as fights for life in a coma after collapsing neighbours fury as hundreds of travellers in caravans descend on new multi-million pound estate and refuse to move Sictrol snorts cocaine while wearing a vile face mask of Katie Price's son Harvey Boy, 6, who collapsed after complaining of illness died from lethal killer sepsis after doctors repeatedly sent him home with Cal Polburn's victim who grew up being told her mum tried to torch her for being black stunned to discover truth photos emerge from inside abandoned house the model Chloe Ayling shared with. Her alleged sex slave kidnapper Taylor Swift tells court DJ David Mueller lifted her skirt and definitely grabbed her most Brits want Prince William to be the next king, and over a third say Camilla should not become queen if Charles takes the throne Manhunter's mum, 66, and daughter, 33, stabbed to death in North London he said they manipulated her, and had her approaching girls, but she didn't know she was doing anything wrong. Gallen admitted three counts of trafficking children for the purposes of exploitation and will be sentenced next month, where she faces up to 14 years in prison. Her role in the sick gang was to find fresh victims by befriending them and luring them off the streets for the men to prey on. She lured vulnerable underage girls to sex parties where they were drugged and passed round to be raped. Gallen admitted three charges of trafficking children for sexual exploitation. Underage girls were applied with booze and drugs before being passed around from one man to another for sex. Gallen became central to the police investigation, which could be reported after she and 17 men were convicted of offences including rape and child trafficking at a series of trials. Officers were at first unsure if Gallen was working with the abusers or was one of their victims. The decision to charge her went all the way to the Director of Public Prosecutions before it was decided she was an active part of the gang and was not herself a victim. Frightened neighbours in a council block say they have been trying to get Gallen removed since she was charged in 2015. Investigators found she was not a victim and was actually a key member of the child sex ring. One neighbor told the male every time I went out I used to see two gentlemen through the window. 
They were frequently in the house, the Asian guys, aged between 30 and 35. I used to see the guys all the time, going in and coming out. Those prosecuted were mostly British-born men of Bangladeshi, Pakistani, Indian, Iraqi, Iranian and Turkish heritage. Northumbria police has come under fire for paying a convicted child rapist £10,000 to spy on the gang. Chief Constable Steve Ashman defended the tactic after child protection experts said they were appalled. Mr Ashman also said Asian communities must do more to shame predators. He told the BBC in some communities, we've got to the point where it's acceptable for people to behave in this manner and that's where we need to focus the efforts if we're going to prevent this happening in the future. It has to be driven out in terms of its social acceptability. We pay for your stories. Do you have a story for the Sun online news team? Email us at tips at the sun .co .uk or call 0207 782 4368. We pay for videos too. Click here to upload yours.